Welcome to Super Money. Uh, this being rich and being wealthy, I have spoken about many times. Uh, I want to now talk about the mindset to get wealthy. I see a lot of people, uh, not just youngsters, but also people uh, in their forties or late thirties and early forties who earn well. Okay, when I say well, I mean reasonably well, one one lakh, one and a half lakhs for the wife and about one lakh for the husband. and they have zero savings zero savings i am not even talking of very small savings i am talking of zero savings not even once uh, covered under atc but their standard of living is pretty shocking whenever they go out they take an ola or an uber the ability to travel by public transport is zero um they spend a lot on the child uh, especially if the child has some challenges can't do is a slow learner or whatever it be so the money is being spent uh, on the gadgets that they buy huge amount of gadgets that they buy they can't live without a car uh, and the, the car ac breaks down it has to be repaired then and there you can't uh, they can't uh, uh, even imagine going by a car which is not air conditioned right so if it costs 20000 bucks why am i talking of such small numbers like 20000 bucks should it really worry a person earning 2 and 1/2 lakhs yes it does if you are living hand to mouth because of your lifestyle whatever it be you are you are paying rent you are paying a higher emi uh, you must have a car you cannot you don't know how to travel by anything other than your own private transport you don't know how to travel by any kind of public transport uh, traveling to any place whether it is going to chennai delhi jaipur doesn't really matter it is an airplane that you have to take when you start doing these kind of things and then you say oh uh, i must have this right i am justified to have this so i think the problem is many of these people are getting lost in the detail are thinking that by acting rich they will become rich i think too many of these books are saying just think and grow rich and things like that but please read that napoleon hill book it is not about thinking and growing rich there are a lot of things that have to be done to get rich right so think and get rich is not so much about money as it is about behavior so please read that book even but don't said just think i just close my eyes i think i'll be rich and i'll be rich no that kind of thing doesn't really happen and you don't want to be rich you want to be wealthy to create wealth you need to be unrich or not rich because you have to be able to tell your friends that i can't come out to drink because uh, drinking is very expensive not that i don't like to drink i like to drink but i will not drink because it's expensive or saying i don't drink that's a different thing so whether you eat more at home whether you eat out whether you eat veg or non veg whether you are going to drink not drink what kind of vacations you take all this will decide whether you want to be rich or whether you're going to be wealthy please understand being wealthy is a mindset to create an amount of money which uh, they also call it uh, f u money which is the fuck you money that you are able to tell your boss that from tomorrow you don't want to come for this job the most important thing that wealth can do for you is to create a cushion which allows you uh to decide how to handle your time to me that's the most important thing if i decide not to do any work for the next uh, 10 days 12 days for earning money is perfectly all right nothing happens to me if i've committed to somebody that i'll come and speak at a place or do a lecture i will have to be there but other than that i don't have to do something right because the money making the money spending and the activities are completely disconnected it does not really matter i can afford to go on a tour i can afford to go on a vacation stay in the best hotels right do all that without having to worry about oh my god next month how will i pay the bill so that financial independence which comes comes from not by acting rich but by creating wealth i mean creating a portfolio let's say you have created a portfolio of 5 crore in debt and 5 crore in equity and the 5 crore debt portfolio will give you a 40 lakh income and the uh, 5 crore equity portfolio let us say oh, it will give you about 12% return that is about 60 lakhs that gives you an annual income of 1 crore annual of income of 1 crore is really you're really doing well right so you maybe you save some you uh, you invest some that's a different thing but to create the 10 crores won't happen very easily but if you're earning well 
uh, and if you start investing and uh, start invest start saving first increasing the rate which you are saving the most important thing for a youngster today who is 22 23 to do is to first increase the skills right any education that you got you need updating you need upgrading right uh, not worrying what artificial intelligence will do to your job is different planning for how you are going to react to ai in your job is different so you have to do the latter not the earlier one right so uh, creating skills for yourself or building on the skills which are already created that is step one step two of course is to uh, increasing the increasing the saving rate you are running 100 rupees you are saving 40 now try to make it 42 44 46 50 whatever and how how would you do it uh, learning to cook uh, which means eating out uh, is reduced uh, learning to travel by public transport today's youngsters obviously when they start off on a salary of 20 30 40 lakhs uh, they can't even imagine how to use the public transport but i am talking about even people earning say 6 7 lakhs when they are in their 40s which is not a big amount of money they have no clue how to build their uh, wealth for retirement right and retirement could happen to any of these people very quickly also uh, you are in HR, HR has a team of 12 people, 14 people, 16 people, they suddenly say, oh, HR is a cost, so let us reduce from 16 to 11. That's it, you could be the first person uh, out, right? So, for whatever reasons. So, these things are happening, so you need to build for yourself a corpus. How do you do at the beginning of your life is by keeping on increasing the amount that you save. So, every uh, promotion that you get, at least 30% or 40% gets into a saving mode. Whether it is a debt fund, equity fund or an arbitrage fund or a hybrid fund does not really matter. But start investing in a big way. Make sure that husband and wife both are going to contribute to the kitty. Uh, very easy for somebody to say, oh no, I am not going to work. That luxury is not available to men. I do not think any man can say I am not going to work. Yeah, there are some people who are privileged who say the things. But that privilege is not available to most men. Men have to work. It is the women who have their choice to make. But please understand when you are here to create family wealth, instead of chasing 18 and 21 percent return, if you can uh, save say 60, 65 percent of your income, which is not going to be very difficult if both husband and wife are working. If husband and wife are both, uh, if the wife is not working and only the husband is working, I have not seen the reverse much. Uh, then the question is he will not be able to save 60-65% of his income because more of his income will be spent at home uh, than it was earlier because she was also working. So, if your wife takes a break uh, and it is a 2 year break or a 3 year break, make sure it is a 2 year break and not a 7 year, 8 year, 10 year break because then coming back into the job market is also not going to be easy. So, do all these things for creating wealth. Make sure that both of you earn well. Make sure that both of you uh, save well. Make sure that both of you contribute to the wealth creation process by consuming less. Uh, when you are consuming less at 35, you are just shifting the consuming from 35 to say 55. That is about all. Not everything that you uh, save uh, uh, will get invested. Some of the saving will get uh, uh, to upgrading your car, to getting a better vacation after two years, all those things. But you still need to know and uh, develop the ability to save. Once you have saved, uh, invested smartly. Till you do not learn how to invest, put it in an index fund any index fund put it in a bsc index fund in a nsc index nifty doesn't really matter right so start doing those things and be on the journey to wealth because to create wealth you need a lot of sacrifice in the initial stages i have created a video saying that so this is just one more video to that so it's important that you save a bigger percentage in the earlier stages and later on you worry about what percentage return you are getting. Initially, you should not be bothered because the amount of money that you are putting in is not much. On 1 lakh of rupees, whether you get 6% or 7%, it does not really matter. But by the time you are 45, if you have accumulated 10 crores or even 5 crores, a 1% change can mean a much big difference. Thank you.